PCS season, we are smack dab in the middle of it here in the month of June. And as we talked about last, last month, we, we got into this PCS thing a little bit as we talked about farewelling, which can be one of the more challenging parts of this nomadic life that we live in the military, whether we're going or whether we're sending, either way, it's it's not always super easy, right? Um, but in this place where we are now, it's that, well, we don't really belong where we left, but we don't really belong where we are or where we're going yet either. And so that we're this month, we're going to talk about that in between place that can be a super hard place for us sometimes and maybe you don't struggle with it as much as i do but that in between of not really belonging somewhere quite yet um can be a challenging place for me and so we're actually going to look at a few folks in scripture this month um, on our seeds episodes our seeds devotionals as we talk about what this what they did in that season of transition and and what that looked like for them and hopefully it will be an encouragement to you if you find your place, your yourself in this in-between place. So we're going to start with Abram um, and talk about uh, some of the his journeys um, and the calling that the Lord had on his life. Um, so we're going to actually find him in Genesis chapter 12, way back in early in your scripture. Um, Genesis chapter 12, and we're just going to read verse 1. And it says, The Lord said to Abram, Go out from your land, your relatives, and your father's house to the land that I will show you. Now, he spends um, some more time in chapter 12 uh, giving Abraham promises of what that would look like or the result of that. Many of those promises Abram never actually saw come to fruition. And if you hear me bounce back and forth between Abram and Abraham, it is um, it is that... Uh, that time when here we we know him as Abram, um, but eventually the Lord changes his name to Abraham. And so you may know him more as Abraham, Abraham and his wife, Sarah. So they um, here is, is early in that calling on his life and what the Lord has for him. And so he's sending him out, him and his family, um, Sarah and, um, and their household. They did not have children yet, um, but he sent them off to a distant place. And interestingly enough, um, in those PCS orders that Abraham received, he did not actually have a destination in mind. The Lord just said, go that way and I will show you um, the land that I would have for you. And then he gave him promises of what would come uh, from his family and from that uh, obedience, what that would look like on the other end. Our PCS orders look a little bit different and um, they actually have a physical destination in mind. But sometimes I wonder if we aren't totally for sure of what that spiritual destination looks like. If you're like me, as we've gone from duty station to duty station, we've seen the Lord change us and grow us in ways we certainly didn't expect. And now as we go to new duty stations or new assignments, um, we find that there is sometimes more um, or different than what we expected, not just in the job itself or not just in the home where we live or or the, the church or chapel to which we belong, but um, but even bigger than that. Um, what is our purpose in that place? What is the Lord going to do in us or in our family um, or in our community um, with us being a part of that? And sometimes that destination, if you might uh, consider it that, is a lot more or a lot fuzzier than what we see. And many times, much like Abram, Abraham, as we don't necessarily see the result or the outcome of that growth or potential or, you know, the purposes of God until we get further down the road. And sometimes that means leaving that duty station. Sometimes it means years later, multiple duty stations later, as we look back and we understand a little bit more of what God was doing in that place. But what he's asking, what God is asking Abram to do here in these verses is to just simply follow in obedience. And in this in-between places, that's what he asks of us too. One step at a time, one day at a time, just seeking out what the Lord would have us to do and follow him. So that is my challenge for you today. And our question for today, something I would love to know is if you have seen um, God work or move or do something in your midst, uh, provide something. If you have seen that in one of your transition periods, I would love to know what that looked like. So if you are in this in-between place today, just um, follow the guidance of Abraham, follow his lead, and just do one step at a time, one day at a time, um, and trust that the promises of God are true. 
Let me pray for us. Lord, thank you so much for your faithfulness and your goodness to us in all seasons and all situations. Lord, may we too be found faithful. We pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen.